viewers, and welcome to this vlog. It's actually called Rob Blog. And many people write in to me daily and say, Rob, why do you call your blog a Rob Blog? And I say to them simply, it's my blog, it's my blog, and I can call it whatever I like. Well, you're in luck today, ladies and gentlemen, and radio lovers. If you're a lover of radio like I am, and after all, a lot of my life was spent on air on radio stations, not a lot has changed because now the past 15, almost 16 years come March, I've had two online radio stations, Swish Radio, the island's golden classics, all kinds of great memories, and Starlight. Uh, music for Life, and there, I'll talk about those in just a couple of seconds, but uh, the Starlight Studio and the Swish Studio are right over there, just behind me. But what I thought I'd do for a bit of nostalgia today is show you some old radio charts that I've collected since probably 1962 and 1963. Now, I don't know of any radio station that puts out a chart nowadays, but was a really big deal back in the 60s and into the 70s as well. And I'm going to show you a few of the ones I collected. Now, you're going to know, depending on which part of the country you lived in, you're going to be familiar with some of these. Now, most of these charts I'm showing you, uh, if not all of them, are going to be in Ontario because that's where I grew up and that's where I worked in radio in Ontario. Unless, of course, you consider Swish and Starlight now the fact that it's in British Columbia, Maple Bay, British Columbia. But other than that, most of the charts I'm going to show you are going to be from Ontario. So put on your reminiscing uh, uh, hats and, and glasses and whatnot, and let me show you a few of the charts from when music was music. The reason why I started on this today, because I was listening to an oldie station that came from Buffalo, New York. And the reason why, there's a, a website called SOWNY, which is Southern Ontario, Western New York Radio. It's been around forever, and sometimes you get little bits of gossip and whatnot. Uh, sometimes you don't. And they happen to mention the station WECK, WEC, which I remember listening to years ago. So they've certainly been an oldie station for a few years in, um, uh, in Buffalo and uh, playing into the Toronto market. And I guess in Toronto, the only station now that plays what I would call oldies uh, would be Zoomer Radio uh, uh, 740. And I think that's the closest, but not really maybe a true oldies station. I don't think. I could be wrong on that. Anyways, let me show you after listening to WEC Radio uh, for a little bit uh, today. Let me show you uh, some of the charts because that's why I went to grab them out because I was listening to an oldies station. So probably one of the most famous is going to be Chum. 1050 Chum in Toronto. 1050 Chum is still there, but it's an all-sports station. So this gives you an idea of the Chum chart, and of course, big deal, the Beatles. Chum bringing the Beatles uh, to Toronto, which they did three different times, as a matter of fact. Look at another chart about the time the Beatles come out. Beatles, Beatles, Beatles. And then, of course, you see the chart in here, which I think is, I better put it right side up. Here we go. And you can see uh, the songs that were the top ten. Uh, at Chum in August the 8th, 1966, Summer in the City, Love and Spoonful, right up at number one on that chart. Well, here's a picture of the Beatles. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Not the Beatles. This is uh, Herman's Hermits, Peter Noon, and this is Bob McAdory, one of the uh, DJs on Chum, who eventually went to um, Global, I believe, Global TV. Uh, look, here's another one, one of my favorites. Bobby Curtola. It was Bobby Curtola Day at the Canadian National Exhibition. And this was in the uh, the Chum Satellite Station there. And this was in uh, 1963. 26th of August, 1963, this came out. Number one song was Mockingbird with uh, Inez Fox. So there you go. Four seasons also in that top ten. And Marlena. Anyways, uh, Chum Chart. Bobby Gertola, there he is, passed away a few years ago. Uh, here's another chump chart cover, Donnie Burns, who was a popular DJ back in the time. Uh, 1968, February, hmm, month that we're in now. Um, one of my all-time favorite Toronto stations, I remember listening to this as a kid because they had Chicken Man on. And of course, I do Chicken Man. I play Chicken Man on uh, Swish from, from uh, you know, now and then. We give it a rest for a year or so, then I, I dig all the Ch Chicken Man episodes up again. But CKFH, 1430, CKFH was one of my favorite uh, stations in Toronto at the time. John Donaby here was a, a great announcer that I like listening to. This, this one opened up, look at this. This one was a, was a large chart and opened up. 
Anyway, Sugar Shop that I play now on Swish, they have Sugar Shop and uh, their album on the inside here. So anyway, it's kind of interesting, uh, uh, CKFH. And you can do a Google search for these stations, 1430 CKFH. Um, another big Toronto station, uh, CKEY Toronto. And CKEY had the Silver Dollar Survey, Duff Roman. Duff is still around these days, worked at Chum for years too, but he was a big deal on uh, CKEY. Here's another CKEY survey right here, CKY 580. Now, CKY 580, I wonder if I can show you here, changed into CKEY 590. They went up the dial 10 from 580 to 590 not long after the survey was out. And I thought maybe I had, uh, uh, doesn't really say on this one. But anyways, CKY 590, CKEY is the uh, the call letters that I remember most. Um, and then, oh, here's some more Chum stuff. Chum in in later times kind of changed their, their uh, surveys. They went a little skinnier. And then in the last days that Chum was around 71, the Chum 30 looked like this. Now, Chum went to, they changed and went to some of the kind of broadcasting, uh, and then they came back to the oldies again for a couple more years till finally, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe, something like that, they went to all sports. So um, that's what they're, I think, I think uh, because of all the people, uh, us uh, baby boomers who listened in the 60s, late 50s, 60s and that, I think 1050 Chum could be resurrected into a great oldie station again. Anyways, who knows? Zeller's is coming back, and I just read this morning uh, with Zeller's that there's going to be Zeller's food trucks with some of the famous Zeller's skillet offerings, like the big uh, uh, chicken sandwich, you know, with gravy on it. Ooh. Anyways, it's coming back to selected stores. However, Zeller's and Hudson's Bay, the Bay, not on the island from what I've heard yet. Now, uh, local station, I actually worked at this station for several years. Uh, and then came back years later when it turned into an FM station and worked at three different stations that had, uh, that same station had different names. But uh, when I was a, but a youngster, CFOR, and when I started at CFOR somewhere in the mid uh, 70s, mid to late 70s, it was called CFOR, the sound survey, meaning the music, the sound, the music. Here you go. This was from uh, 1966. Number one was Sugartown, Nancy Sinatra, right here. CFOR Sound Survey, popular spot for teenage kids to go, the Club Pavilion. My parents always said, don't let me catch you going down to the Club Pavilion. And they never caught me. Uh, south of Aurelia, the city of Barrie had one radio station called CKBB Barrie 950. And this was their CKBB Barrie survey. This one's really rat tattered and torn. But look at the Beatles on the back of it too. There you go. Uh... A while later, another station in Collingwood, Ontario, CKCB, was owned by CKBB, and they had a different kind of survey. This was the Double Dozen survey, which probably meant there were 24 songs on it. Yes, Double Dozen. And CKBB, CKCB, Collingwood. I actually, uh, uh, in some of my later years, I actually did... Uh, I was on CKCB Collingwood, never worked at the station, but I worked at a station in Barrie called uh, The New Che, and um, I did voice tracking for the station in Collingwood. And so I was basically on that station four or five days a week. Never heard it. Never listened to myself on it because I did the breaks. So you see, station that I was never on, but my voice was there. Maybe some people remember. One of my also... Uh, also, one of my favorite stations uh, in the summer with uh, my parents, we would um, uh, summer in Peterborough. In Peterborough, Ontario, in the Kawarthas had CKPT. They had another station called Chex, C-H-E-X. I love CKPT, the PT Parade, CKPT 1420. It was owned by the Chum Group of Stations. So it sounded pretty much like Chum, too. And their, their charts were set up the same way. Look at some of the guys who worked on the station. And look at, here's Percy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. And look at, here's Peter Bennett. I remember Peter Bennett. And Coke was a big deal. Always Coke advertising on the uh, stations. And uh, PT, when they changed, CKPT went from this. They went to this. Long and skinny. The PT Parade. It was still the PT Parade. There you go. And then they have their personalities on here again. Look at that. 
Look at that. There you go. Mm -hmm. Very nice. John Gilbert up here. And John Gilbert used to uh, have a talk show on Chum 2 around 10 in the morning at one point. But because it was the same company, he switched over there. Um, the other Peterborough station is, this is hard to read, but it's actually uh, the sound uh, now sound. The now sound. Not sound survey. The now sound. All, we always radio stations had to think of something like a go-go, all those things. But this was Czech Peterborough, the now sound. And if I open this one up, ladies and gentlemen, September 26th, and of course there's no date on it. Oh, 1969, I had scribbled that on myself. Little Woman Bobby Sherman, remember Bobby Sherman? Number one in the Rolling Stones Honky Tonk Woman, number two, right here, on this sound survey. I'm sorry, the now sound. CFOR, the sound survey, now sound checks in Peterborough. Um, this was a national chart. There was no radio station attached to it, but it was called RPM 100. And you could pick it up at all the record stores. That's for all these charts. You pick them up, unless you're at the exhibition or someplace, it was at record stores where you picked, bought a record and then you, you know, picked up your chart. And this is the RPM. This is Canada's only 100 single uh, survey. So all the little 45s. They were here. And this is, uh, where's the date on this one? That'd be kind of funny if they didn't put a date on this one. It was oh, April 1st, 1967. RPM 100. There you go. Uh, moving along here, another one of my favorite stations. And they didn't play a lot of, of, uh, of pop music, if you want to call it, the hits, uh, Top 40. But they did on the weekends and in the evenings. And uh, I always like this station. I think it's called Bob FM now. This is CKLY Radio and Lindsay. So Lindsay was in the Kawarthas about, uh, about 50 minutes outside the city of Aurelia where I lived. And not too far, about 30 minutes from Peterborough. CKLY Radio, 910. Used to be in an old house. Uh, if you do a search online, you'll see that. And CKLY presents in 1966. Look at this one. This is the top, uh, top 100 songs. Of the 1966 right here, CKLY. And then eventually CKLY, they did their charts this way too, right? CKLY, the CKLY hit line. And what they used to do, I think if it was in the top, I don't know, if it was in the top 20 songs, CKY used to do this too. If it was in the top 20, 25 songs, this little announcer thing would come on first and say CKEY hit line, and you knew it was one of the top 25 songs. And the same thing here for CKY. Look at this. Happy Centennial New Year. So this was 1967, the 6th of January. Monkey's number one. I'm a believer. Stepping Stone. Snoopy versus the Red Baron was number two. There you go. CKY. Here's another CKLY hit line uh, in May of Centennial Year. Number one, The Happening, The Supremes. And uh, oh, all kinds of great songs on there. And I'll show you one more copy here of CKLY, which was April of 67. Something Stupid. Oh, that was the number one song with Frank and Nancy Sinatra. And The Monkeys, A Little Bit Me and A Little Bit You was number two. Four Tops, Bernadette down there. Oh, my goodness. The Young Canada Singers in Canada. Canada, one little, two little, three, Canada, on this chart. And uh, Peter and Gordon on here, the Hollies, Dave Clark, five. Um, another Supreme song, The Happening. First time on this chart, number 14, Whoosh, up to the top. Anyways, so I just thought I would play uh, Remember This with radio and go back to some of these wonderful old charts, you know, like the Chum chart that I showed you. And um, I felt a little bit uh, in the mood for that today. As I said, listening to that uh, uh, big Weck, W-E-C-K. I want to say Wreck, but it's Weck, W-E-C-K, out of Buffalo, New York uh, today, which is an oldie station, W-E-C-K. And you can look that up on the, uh, on the uh, internet if you want to as well. And if you, uh, another oldie station out that way, of course, is Zoomer Radio, which I tune into uh, now and then. Uh, in the afternoon, especially if I can think of it during the afternoon drive. So anyways, a little tear to your eye, a little reminiscence here, listening back to, uh, looking back at some of this stuff. Oh, there's, I mean, really, when you look at it, look at CFOR, sound survey, as opposed to, were you listening? Checks was the now survey. Now survey, sound survey. Anyways, thank you so much for uh, uh, listening to this blog and me ramble and show you these old... Uh, and some of them are probably going to fall apart soon. CKBB survey. They weren't anything. They were just, they knew it was a survey. It was BB survey, the BB survey. 
Those times have gone, haven't they, ladies and gentlemen, of my particular age? They have gone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just thought I'd do that for you. Hope I've brought back some memories. I tried to shove a whole bunch into 15 minutes, so it's going to be a long vlog today. Take care of yourselves. Remember, always keep your feet inside the line. Bye. Take care. Bye.